Good morning. Today is Thursday, October 2nd, 2014. The Digital Media Corps can't wait to start bringing you the highlights, news bulletins, and all other important events here at CJHS. I am Jacob along with Connor, and we are going to bring you today's news. People putting this together are Audrey and Dylan. Now here's your news for the day. Ex-NBA star and Concord basketball player Sean Kemp will return to host a preseason basketball camp for all Concord students only on Saturday, October 4th. Sean, along with the Concord boys basketball staff and players, will take participants through drills to help enchant their game of basketball. The camp is for any 2nd through 8th grade boys or girls currently enrolled in Concord Community Schools and runs from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. on October 4th in McEwen Gym. Cost is $30 per player. Parent and guest admission is $5 for admission balcony seating. There will be two early registration days, Saturday, September 27th from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. and Tuesday, September 30th from 5.30 p.m. to 7 o'clock p.m. in the McEwen Gym Lobby. Forms and payment may also be sent to Concord High School. Attention, Steve Austin, 59. 117 Minuteman Way, Elkhart, Indiana, 46517. Please join us for a special day with Sean and enjoy basketball knowledge he will share just before the start of the basketball season. Good morning, sports fans. We are here to tell you about a wonderful opportunity you have to cheer on your fighting Miniman and women soccer teams Thursday after school. Both soccer teams are beginning their quest to repeat as conference champions by taking on their fierce rival, the Goshen Redskins. To ensure that we have stands blanketed in green, any junior high, stu any junior high student who is wearing green will be admitted to the game for free. That's right, just wear green. We hope it says Concord on it, but as long as it is green, you will receive free admission. There were also going to be some special prizes, special prize drawings during both girls and boys games. So if you have not been out to a soccer game all year, now is your chance to see the two best teams in the conference. Go at it for the conference championship. Boys' action begins at 4.45 with the ladies taking the field immediately following. And best of all, it's free for all those in green. See you there. The seventh grade JV volleyball team came together to beat Stanley Clark Monday night, 25 to 22 and 25 to 7. Lakira Wanninger led all serves with nine, followed closely by Jaitlyn Booth with eight. Booth also led an assist with six. Lexi Taylor had four, and Katie Papa had an amazing 10 digs, while Booth had nine. Kaylee Williamson did a great job at the net with a kill. The first round of the Big 11. Tournaments start Thursday at North. The seventh grade varsity volleyball team completed the Big 11 schedule Tuesday evening by defeating Northside 25 to 21 and 25 to 14. There are now 15 to 1 overall and 10 to 0 in the conference. The victory secured the Big 11 regular season title. Gabby Sponsor led the team with 11 serves and three aces. Lauren Bossler led with 30 sets. Britlin Souders. 18 passes, and Alexis Curry with 8 attacks. The ladies will finish the regular season out against Fairfield Monday, October 6th at CJHS. The 8th grade varsity volleyball team improved their record to 14-2 on September, September 30th against the Northside Huskies. They were close, but the Lady Native Men won in two games 25 to 22 and 25 to 24. The second game was especially nerve-wracking as they dug themselves in a big hole, got partially out, dug another hole, got out again, 
then dug a third hole, and then managed to finish off the Huskies for a win. Nice, nice job, job, ladies! The 8th grade varsity volleyball team won the Westview in Invitational Tournament on Saturday, September 27th, 2014. They beat every team there, including Discovery, who had bested the Mighty Minute Women earlier this season. As they played five matches, there are too many stats to mention here, but we'll sum up by saying not only did everyone play well, everyone dominated. Congratulations, ladies, on a job well done. And here is a picture of the ladies celebrating with the trophy. There is a drama call meeting during CAP on Thursday, October 9th in the lecture room. You must sign up in order to audition. Sign-ups will be available at the call-out meeting. You must have a passing grade in order to be considered for the part in the play. Auditions will be October 15th and 16th after school. More information will be given at the meeting during CAP. This is a final call for fundraising order forms. You guys did an awesome job at selling these fundraiser forms, and they support a lot of the activities after school, like Five Star and all the athletics. And at Combo now, you can see Mr. Bowen running around the gym. And you guys did a really great job selling. Now, this is also the last call for pictures, and you can still order them at hrimaging.com. Thank you. The cross country team competed in the ECA Invitational last Saturday. Congratulations to Mallory McEwen as she ran to victory, placing first overall. Mallory was followed by Alexa Porter, who ran great and finished third. Completed the varsity race was Elise Miranda, Shannon Redmond, Megan Landis, and McKenna Lee. The girls team picked up a third place trophy. Nice job, girls. The boys varsity cross country team placed fourth overall at the Invitational. Top runners for the boys team earning ribbons were Luke Shoemaker at 8th place, Tyler Castillo at 13th place, and Josh Peacock at 17th place. Rounding out the boys varsity were Brandon Wise and Brock Troyer. Top finishers in the JV races and earning top 20 ribbons were Gage Riggle, Gabby Martin, and Alexis Kern. Great job runners! Monday there is a boys and girls soccer at Stanley Clark 445. There is also a JV volleyball against Stanley Clark, a home game. There is also another varsity volleyball team at 445 at Stanley Clark home. Tuesday there's a staff meeting in B201 and at 7 o'clock there's a varsity volleyball at Northside at 430. 8th um, grade football versus Northside at home 430 and 7th grade football at Northside at 4.30. Cross country at Wilson Park at 4.45. Thursday we have a writing prom, so make sure to put on those thinking caps. We also have five star at 2.45 and a boys and girls soccer game versus Goshen at home at 4.45. And we have a JV volleyball game at Northwood at 4.30. Again, make sure you are moving from good to great each day. This week, we are going to be focusing on being early. We are expected to be on time. Let's see if we can be early to help a fellow student or teacher get ready for class. Thanks for watching. Make sure to go check out the soccer game tonight. Have a fantastic day.